Hello and welcome. My name is George and my channel is all about helping you get the most out of Logic Pro so that you can record and produce your best music in your home studio. Today we're going to look at how we can edit multiple audio tracks at the same time using the groups function in Logic Pro. This is especially useful if you've recorded an instrument using multiple microphones. So maybe you have a stereo recording of an acoustic guitar, or if you're recording drums using multiple microphones and you wanna be able to edit all of these takes and tracks together as one, well then this is where the groups function is really gonna come in handy. So let's dive in. Okay, so here I've got a recording of an acoustic guitar. And as you can see, we've got two tracks. So we use two mics, one on the left side and one on the right side. And together that sounds like this. Now, one of the issues we get into is when we want to start to make some edits here. So I have these recorded on comp tracks, which are currently packed together. So if I hit the little arrow here, now you'll see all the different takes I have for the acoustic guitar. And I have that for both the left and also the right. But let's say I make a change here and I select some of take four. So if I click and drag here, that's gonna select take four in my left track. But if I go down to my right track, we're still on take seven. So that would require me to then go and do the same thing. And it's just gonna make it kind of hard to line everything up. So. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to undo that so that we're both back to where we were originally. And I'm going to pull up the mixer. So I'm going to hit the letter X on my keyboard, or we can go to this icon up here. And here I've got my acoustic guitar tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these. So I'm just going to click and drag over, or you could click and hold down shift and click on the second track and that would highlight both of them. And then here where you see group, I'm going to click in here and I'm just going to select group one since I don't have any other groups set. If I already had group one assigned to a different instrument, then I could go to group two and create a new group. But in this case, I'm just going to stick with group one. And now you see in yellow, the little one there. So that means that group one is assigned to these two tracks. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is go up here where it says groups, click on that. And now we can see all the different parameters that are assigned to this group. So currently it's volume and mute. So right now, if I grab the fader for one, it's linked to the other. And same thing with the mute. If I hit mute, it's gonna mute both of these tracks. Now, if I uncheck these, now the volumes are no longer linked. Now in this case, what we want to link is editing. So we go up here, editing, and I'll make sure that quantize locked is also selected. Now I can minimize my mixer, again hitting the letter X. And now any change I make in one track is going to be applied to both of them. So let's say we want to take all of track four from the beginning till halfway through. So I've selected that in my left track. And now if we scroll down to my right, you'll see that that got applied as well. If I make this a little bit smaller so we can see both at the same time, you can see that any change I make on one side is going to apply to the other track as well. So that's what that looks like using comp tracks. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten these tracks. So right here where the little E is, I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna go flatten. And that's just gonna get rid of all the unused tracks. 
So if you weren't using comp tracks, this is what it might look like to you. And when we're dealing with this, you can still edit the same way. So let's say I want to select this and delete that. Well, that's going to delete both. Or if I want to resize it, it's going to select both my tracks. Or if I want to create a fade, it's going to make that on both tracks. So any edits I make on one, it's going to happen to the other. Now, let's say for the most part, you want to be able to edit the two at the same time. But if there's one small edit you want to make in one and not the other, then what you can do is temporarily disable the groups. So I'll just bring my mixer back up again. I'll hit the letter X. What we can do is hit Shift G. And now you'll see that these grayed out. So that means that the groups are temporarily inactive. So now, if I, let's say, I lengthen this one, now the other one's unaffected because this is temporarily disabled. And if I hit Shift G once again, you'll see these light back up. And now any change I apply to one will apply to the other as well. So I hope you found that helpful to allow you to edit multiple tracks all at once. As I said, this is fairly common with acoustic guitars if you're dealing in stereo or if you're miking a drum kit, you might have multiple mics on the drums and you want to edit those all at one time. So this is a really easy way and helpful way to do that. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. And if you want to improve your workflow in Logic Pro, don't forget to download my ultimate Logic Pro starter pack. This includes my Logic Pro hotkey cheat sheet, my audio recording checklist, my mixing guide, as well as my Logic Pro mix templates. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.